I'm going to share with you a few things that are killing your attraction with the ladies. So stick around because I need that watch to it. Stop right there, criminal scum! Let's say you like a girl, you're talking to her, you just met her, or maybe you're on the first date, maybe you've been dating for a few weeks now. These are a few things that are going to kill your attraction, and these things are probably going to make her run a mile, so pay attention. One of the absolute quickest ways to kill a woman's attraction is to be needy. You're always texting her, you're always blowing up her phone. Let's say she sends you a message, you constantly reply within five seconds, you know, you're constantly doing that back and forth, you're always asking her, oh, what are you up to, what are you doing, why are you not seeing me, all that needy bullshit. If you can't live your life without her, you can't do your own thing, you can't embrace the space between you, you're gonna really push her away. This isn't just like a attraction killer, this is just normal. Imagine you did this with your friends, would your friends really wanna hang around with you if all you did was just constantly message them? Because you're unable to live in your own space, you're unable to live your own life, you're codependent on other people. It's not the kind of person you want to be around, it's not the kind of person that you want to associate with because it gets fucking annoying. This will be especially relevant if maybe you've only been seeing her a few weeks. That is trying to move things too quickly. Understand that if you're trying to rush into a relationship or you're trying to push things further than they need to go, maybe trying to force things when there's really no need, I'd say this isn't a very masculine thing to do. It's not the kind of behaviour that demonstrates that you've got confidence in yourself. And as I will always say, confidence is the most attractive trait a man can have. If you're trying to progress a relationship that's not even a relationship, it's probably going to be a turn off because it shows that you're not secure enough in yourself to be able to just let things play out naturally. If you're having fun with this girl, you're enjoying the time you're spending together, she treats you well, it's basically a relationship just without a label. Why do you need to add that label? Why do you need to put that pressure on to almost lock her down if that makes sense? It's kind of needy in a way. If a woman likes you, she will establish that relationship. If she wants to be with you, that's something she'll try to make happen. If it's meant to be, it's meant to be. Another way that you're going to kill her attraction is by being a simp. I don't like to use the word simp because it's very derogatory but I want to use it as an example because there is a lot of like simp like behaviour and understand guys if you're doing that you are going to really turn her off. She's not going to feel that intense attraction towards you that desire because simps by their very nature are not very masculine, not very confident men, not very secure in themselves. A woman doesn't really want to be with a man who's weak. Understand that back in the hunter gatherer days for example the most raw state of humanity men would have to be strong men would have to face a lot of dangers to be able to keep the women safe to be able to provide for them but if they're weak if they're afraid to do things if they've no backbone and every turn they demonstrate weakness how can these women depend on those men and what kind of behavior am i talking about when i mean simp behavior well one of the biggest examples of a simp is somebody who is willing to give and give and give and give despite the fact that he's getting absolutely nothing in return he's bending over back Backwards to please a woman that just doesn't respect him, doesn't really care that much about him, doesn't probably doesn't want to be with him, is possibly cheating on him, who probably walks all over him in many different ways, you know, doesn't reciprocate any of that energy. And despite all those things, the man just it continues to give, he continues to put his time, his energy, his attention into her, and it shows that he just doesn't have any self-respect. And self-respect is so important as a man because if you don't have self-respect, how can you expect other people to respect you? And if other people don't respect you, why would she? Don't be a simp because it demonstrates weakness, it demonstrates insecurity in yourself because think about it, you're trying to get the approval of someone who doesn't respect you and if you're bending over backwards for someone who just doesn't respect you because you want their approval, you want their validation, it shows that you're not secure in yourself because if you were secure in yourself, if you knew exactly what you had to offer, you understood your own value, you wouldn't be bending over backwards to please someone who couldn't give a shit about you. So never be a simp. And that brings me on to my last point and this might seem contrary to what a lot of men will say among the manosphere but that is don't be a dick. If you're the kind of guy who thinks that you've got to constantly make a woman chase you, you've got to always 100% of the time be selfish, prioritise your own shit, don't make much time for her, you don't really have that much respect for her, it probably will make her chase you, it probably will make her like you in the short term, but later down the line she's going to realise her own worth. You've all heard the saying, treat her mean, keep her keen, that doesn't really work, it does in the short term, but there will come a point where she's going to start looking elsewhere, you're not making her feel desired, you're not making her feel wanted, and you know, people will say, oh this is what alpha males do, this is a sign of a strong, secure, confident man, but it's not really, it's quite childish, it's quite immature. 
chore. Especially if you're faking it as well, like, don't pretend to be something, you know, because that in itself is super unattractive. As a man, you should always be confident in yourself. You should always know your own worth, always know what you bring to the table. And if you're a man who doesn't really have much ambition, maybe you're not doing many things with your life, you're not building value, then you probably won't have much sense of self-worth and I would recommend that you do so if you aren't already because becoming a more valuable man, improving your life in all kinds of different ways is going to increase your confidence and you're just going to have a much better sense of self-respect and that's the kind of man that a woman wants, a man who's got self-respect. And if you're interested in self-improvement, click the link in the description. I've got a men's self-improvement Facebook group, so you're more than welcome to join. We're currently at 57,000 members and it would be great to have you there. So if you're interested, check the link below. So I spoke briefly about dating women and what you should and shouldn't do. If you'd like to know how to gauge a woman's interest level in you, we'll click the video on screen right now. I hope this video was valuable to you. If it was, be sure to leave a like, comment and subscribe. Hope you enjoyed that video. That's all I'm going to say about that. Oh.